Okay, so this video is only gonna be on making the half hitch knot. This is the knot we use when we're tying off um, the reed. So we've done everything right and we've tied down the staple to the cork and now we have to secure everything so that it's nice and tight and doesn't come unraveled. So I like to use a knitting needle to teach this. You can also use any round object. Um, the only reason I like the knitting needle is because it has this little point, kind of makes it easier. Um, and it's a little bit bigger in your hands. So here's what I want you to do. Just take a piece of thread and you're gonna to wanna to keep your hand pretty close to the top, okay? And just grab the end like that. You don't have to tie it on, you're just holding it, right? Okay, now take your first finger and go under your thread and make a loop like so and grab it so we have this. Okay, then take the needle or your sharp object and instead of going this direction, you're gonna go underneath like that and then pull. See how that turns into that half hitch, right? So again, go under, create a loop with my thumb and second finger and then go through. Grab and pull. So go under, make the loop, turn it over so you can go through it, and then pull. What this is, is casting on. So if you ever had a relative or a family member that knitted, it's the same kind of technique. So again, your, your two fingers are kind of here to hold the thread. Your first finger goes like that. You grab, turn over, on, and pull. Okay, and if you start to let go of that bottom piece, it's fine, it's fine now because you've got enough started that it doesn't matter. So again, go around my first finger. Grab with these two, turn it over. That, and we're on. That's all it is. That's all the knot is. It's called the half hitch knot. There are lots of variations. Some people like to do this. It's the same idea. It's just a bigger motion. I don't like it because it, it it causes a lot of slack, but some people swear by it, um, but that's how I like to do it. So give that a go, see if it works for you, but just work on getting the knots. Don't worry about wrapping, don't worry about anything. Just practice getting the knots. Because once you get the hang of this, it's like easy peasy. You don't even have to think about it. Like I don't, I don't even worry about it anymore. I just do this. So give it a go.